Virginia Real Estate Developers Lobby, in conjunction with Republicans Everywhere, Inc., presents another thrill-packed episode of Secret Agent Ken Boyd. Tonight's story is The Wendell Wood Affair, or Rush to Judgment. Oh, hello again, Mrs. Thomas. No, we still don't know anyone named Wendell Wood. Apartment complex? Why, yes, that's a code name for a project in your area. Where did you hear about it? The Daily Progress? But this is classified information. How's that? It was in the classified ads. Uh, I guess that's okay then. Well, thank you, Miss Thomas. We'll get one of our top agents on it right away. Uh, we'll e email you as soon as we know something. Goodbye. Hey, Joe! Sir? Contact secret agent Ken Boyd down in Charlottesville. We got a leak. <laughs> That was a wonderful lunch, Wendell. There's nothing like the food at Farmington. Thanks again, old friend. Telegram for Mr. Boyd. Thank you. Looks like it's from our operative at Ninja. I hope no one's blown our cover. Oh, relax, Wendell. We've kept the vice president in the dark this time. Well? Sally's on to us. But how? Someone slipped the classified info into the proffer's paperwork. And Wayne Sillenberg published it with the county's legal notice and the daily progress. We're ruined! Don't be silly. This is Albemarle County. Listen, I've got an idea. <laughs> the Albemarle County Board of Supervisors is now in session. The first order of business is a public hearing on Mr. Wood's Ninjic site to approve an apartment complex just put forward tonight. Chairman Boyd? Chair recognizes Mr. Slutsky. <clears throat> President Bush called me just a few minutes before the start of this meeting. Oh, that's funny. He called me too. Me too. Me too. Yeah. He didn't call me. <clears throat> uh, uh, oh, that's too bad, Sally. Uh, you need to start coming to our local Government and real estate developers' prayer breakfasts. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if I could finish. Go ahead, David. The President asked me to remind everyone of just how important NJIC is to Homeland Security. He asked both me and Wendell and almost everybody to pray on it. It, uh, it was a conference call? Didn't I mention that? Uh, so, David, what did that still, small, male voice from above Tell us to do. Mr. Chairman, if I could speak. The chair recognizes local developer and my best buddy, Wendell Wood. I think I speak for the president and everyone here. Well, except Sally. And me. I think I speak for everyone, except Sally and Dennis, when I say it's God's will that we rezone my land for a large apartment complex. If I could speak. Uh, the chair recognizes the Almighty. Uh, I just want to say that Wendell Wood Jr. is my chosen real estate developer. Yay, yay, his subdivisions down to the last square inch of Albemarle County shall ever be righteous in my eyes. Any board member approving Wendell's projects will be richly, I mean richly blessed. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you. Heavenly Father. Mr. Chairman. Well, the chair recognizes Mr. Wyatt. That's good enough for me. I move we vote. But Mr. Chairman. Go ahead, Mr. Rooker. State law requires a minimum two weeks notice on any changes to proffers before the convening of a public hearing. I've heard nothing to indicate an emergency. <laughs> He's been vaporized.
surprised. <clears throat> I believe Mr. Wyant has just moved for approval of Mr. Wood's most righteous plans. Do I hear a second, Mr. Slutsky? So move, Mr. Chairman. Motion to approve whatever Mr. Wood wants to do, whenever he wants to do it, has been seconded. All those in favor? Yay! Yay. Yay. Opposed? Motion carries. Um, Mr. Chairman. Yes, Sally. I've uh, I just gotten an email from Injik in Washington. Now go on. They deny all knowledge of um, apartment complex. This hearing stands adjourned. Thank you, young man. Here's seven bucks to pay for the concession. Sorry about the Key West Club hot dogs, Wendell, but with my election campaign in trouble, it's all I can afford. That's all right, Ken. Hey, your plan to bring God into the argument was brilliant. <laughs> it was just typical Republican strategy, Wendell, old boy. Still, I wish we could have worked our opposition to stem cell research in there somehow. Maybe next time Chuck Rodkin needs to change his North Point proffers at the last minute. What a swell idea! Let's give Chuck a call as soon as we finish our fudsicles. You have just heard another thrill-packed episode of Secret Agent Ken Boyd, sponsored by the Virginia Real Estate Developers Lobby in conjunction with Republicans Everywhere, Inc., makers of new Complete Congestion 24-Hour Gel Tabs. If you need congestion, we'll help you get it. There's an acute shortage right now, as they've often sold out. And be sure to try our new Democratic Suppository, so popular they've sold out too. Now our producer's disclaimer. Secret Agent Ken Boyd is a fictional political satire. While certain names and events may appear to be the same as real names and events, this is mere coincidence and should be ignored by all but the most gullible. And so until next time, this is T. Vincent Garnell bidding you a fictitious farewell. Broadcasting system. Stay tuned for a fictitious memorial service for the fictitiously vaporized, fictitious Dennis Rooker over most of these same stations. Mm -hmm.